Hi, and how's it going everybody, and welcome back to uh, Dead State with me, Noble. I'd like to first start off by saying I very much, very, very much am sorry about the audio quality. I didn't realize that my headset volume was lower, and uh, I just thought everything was fine on the recordings, and then I finally turned up my volume. I was like, wait a minute, everything's a little too loud here. So if you haven't been turned down your uh, volume for these last few episodes, I am so, so sorry. I'm not even sure when, because I remember a while back I was working on trying to get the audio correct. A while back when, uh, uh, what's it called, the OBS system updated. I don't know if it's been going wrong since then. I don't know. But all I know is right now I'm like really sorry for what has happened with the audio quality. It's ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, we're back to it. So, <laughs> uh, that out of the way, I guess. We got chainsaws, tasers, dumbbell shotgun and a shield, and a katana. I'll also go for this, I guess. You know what? No. Oh, of course now it's uh, not any good. Oh well. Yeah, screw it. Come on in, have some fun. Can you get behind me, huh? Oh yes, he got a counterattack in. A bleeding one. You want to pay for that, you say? Well, I say you probably are wrong. Aha, uh -huh. I showed you. Uh, okay. Shotgun is not going to do much good. Yeah, just get up here. And can you hit him? Why can't you even see him? Oh, I have the medical pack on. No wonder. I was like, but I can't shoot him. Uh, <laughs> auto would be fun, but no, we're not going to do that. We're just going to go burst. One burst. We hit him. Uh, go for one more. How are we looking? Badly wounded? Try it. It was nice while it lasted. He's got a gas mask, therefore he's pretty much invincible to uh, what I could do. No gas mask, no gas mask. We'll try it. Yep. <laughs> I can't see! Well, now it's time to just try and kill them. Um, yeah, go over there. Oh no! Ow! Badly wounded, undamaged, undamaged, and him. At least we got them kind of, uh, uh, slowed down due to the doorway issue. <laughs> Um. If you could just stay there for a minute, I'd much appreciate it. Oh, he's oh wow, he's actually completely out. He's he's KO'd. I I thought he was just injured. Maybe there was a small chance. That'll do what I needed to do. Uh, reloads a six, so no. Let's pull back to a more defendable position. Uh, 
What you got on you? Got ourselves some more motocross arm. We had, it, it's funny. Once we found the first one, we're finding it now, you know? It's crazy. Um, he'll probably bled out here in just a minute. Yeah, not enough points for inventory. All right, so. Where are you going, huh? Uh, you have a noisemaker. I don't think you have Molotovs. You do not. Okay. That's gonna hoit. Thing is, though, when one of these guys bleeds out, we're gonna have an opening, and that's when everybody's gonna try and fall, funnel through it. So I gotta be ready. Um... You got four shotgun shells left. Yeah, that didn't help anybody. Reloading. Let's start bandaging people, including myself, up. Paul, you're actually in good shape. Um... So because of that, man, I hate the fact that these scattered items are all over the floor. Therefore, I can't really get to one particular one. You got plenty of stuff to go through. I'm not really worried about you. Uh, that's not really going to help me at all. <laughs> I'm like, maybe I'll find a Molotov. Oh, Molotov. <laughs> okay. Well, you're out of the picture. I really should have moved him up towards the front. Uh, back to Paul. Oh, wait, I already checked him. Just gonna put an arrow in you. Don't mind Paul. Paul is a great guy. Just looking out for your health. You had the Molotov. Yeah, and if I drop it right here, I get rid of the corpses and burn this guy. I like that idea. And then we'll have you open up your inventory. Ah, oh, you don't have any spares either. I thought somebody had a spare Molotov on them. Just stand on the corpse. That's fine. You're doing better. Let's not even worry about it. I wish I brought the truck so I could have a sniper rifle, but I don't, so well. See, the funny thing is he has a torch, and I'm like, yeah, I've torched the guy with a torch. Uh, let's go ahead and just set that active, because I have a funny feeling we're going to need to defend soon. All right. You didn't have anything left useful, so go ahead and keep your armor-piercing weapon on and move up. You can walk through that? I thought you had to walk around that thing. Well, whatever works, I guess. Um, pull up here and see if we can't hit some of these guys. 0% and 0%. Well, that just sucks. 60%, that's a lot nicer. What about that one? 10%. Reload that shotgun. The funny thing is, these guys can easily walk in the back door. Easily. Nah, they don't want to. By the sniper rifle, this guy could already be dead, and that one could be severely injured by now, but nope, don't have it. <laughs> uh, bad choices. Actually, I am going to switch back to this just so I can try and get to this. This guy, the armor is going to be a penetration problem. This guy is going to have some penetration problem, but, you know. It doesn't matter which weapon I'm using, I'm going to be in a little bit of trouble. <laughs> my arms are sore. I helped my brother out moving some equipment. Alright, Paul. The good news is we'll have some zombie assistance here very shortly. 
95 and 0. Well, let's go and work on that undamaged one. We got nothing but time right now. And, uh, let's see if we can't draw some zombie over here. Not the best use of, uh, one of those, but hey, you know, you take what you can get, right? The funny part is these guys are bleeding, they're down, they're on fire. These guys, they've already reached the gates of hell, you know? Oh, man. Got anything to assist us in this situation? No. I know I keep looking at his gear in particular, but it's just he's kind of the most useless member of the team right now since he's got a close range weapon. At least the other's got some form of projectile weapon. Just don't miss with that 5% chance, okay? That's all I'm asking. Thank you. So. How you guys doing? Is that good enough to hit you? No. Just trying a few different positions. That's a 30%. That's better than nothing. Ooh. Ooh. Let's hope that holds out the fire for at least two more turns. I get two arrow shots in on that guy. Skip the useless one. Oh, thanks. Now you're going to start moving? I didn't ask for this zombie. Oh, now the fire's gone. Only a 40% chance, too. Better than no chance. Hey, it hit! Only a slightly wounded, but that's better than nothing at all. Stop trying to pick up stuff and stand on the block I'm telling you to stand on, okay? Alright. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I forgot the corpses are still... They survived the fire. This guy, not surprising, he's wearing uh, fire gear, but this guy is just wearing leathers. Let's go ahead and just uh, bop him real good. Uh, he's dead. Ironically, I probably should have got rid of that one because uh, I have a funny feeling this one is going to be living a lot longer than that one was. It's like, hey, how you guys doing? <laughs> oh, I guess the door is clogged again. That's what I need. You know what? I'll take that just as a backup. And uh, come back here for a second. <laughs> he wasted a chainsaw on a zombie. <laughs> no, you don't. He's just full of horrible life choices, and he knows it too. Why not? He missed. Go figure. There we go. Clean that up a little bit. Come on in, guys. We left you an opening. Oh man, one, two, three, four. Then the zombies. <laughs> it looked impressive, I guess. I'm glad the zombies are here to help me. 
Now mind you, he'll be coming back from the dead probably, but oh well. Almost dead. How about totally dead? Ha ha! Shot through the heart. And it's okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and clear some of these out. You get over there. Nah, let's just move up a little bit. Mm, one more cell. What can we do? 55? That is not a lot. Let's look around first. Anybody else coming at us? No, just him. He's got body armor on. He's really not going to be the guy I need to shoot. Hope that'll clean up some of our problem. Now, these penetrating weapons is what I need. He's like, I'm just going to back off and let the zombie attack me from behind. That's that's fine. You are clearly not the brightest light bulb in the box. I mean, I'm just saying, you know. Zero percent chance. Well, that sucks, but it is what it is. I think a bludgeon weapon would be best on a guy with body armor. I forget. What is this thing in the sense of what it's referred to? Slash. It's not piercing, so that sucks, but whatever. Spread the love a little bit, make sure everybody doesn't get grouped up on. That's probably good enough. I want him to make the waste the points moving up rather than me, you know? No! Well, so be it. Ninety-five, that's what I'm looking for. We're from zero two spaces away to ninety-five. Huh? Almost dead, it says. Sweet. Dreams are made of these. Who am I to disagree? Travel the world in the seven seas. Everybody's looking for something. Can I hit him at all? <laughs> yeah, he's gonna get killed by a zombie. If you could just give me a second to get rid of him before you bite him. No, no, that's not what I asked you. I asked you politely, too. Uh. Well, time to put down the zombie. I like how he's now covered in blood. He's got that bloody arm and stuff in that armor, rather than just being a clean guy like he was earlier. <laughs> it's like, hey, the little things is what makes the game really count, you know? Alright, well. Time to go make the donuts, I guess. Slightly wounded and almost dead. Logic would say, I got the one that's still up. Yeah, at least we're ready for this guy now in his current condition. He doesn't have a chainsaw to kill me with. That's the important other thing. 
penetrating takes care of body armor. To a degree. I'm only badly wounded now. We do not have the inventory to be bringing this stuff back. These guys had way too much. Coke. Only one cell left on that chainsaw. That's unfortunate. It's only a one shot now. <laughs> Not even worth trying to take with you. Uh, man, there are still multiple people's faces on here. Oh, jeez. And I got rid of all these corpses here, so that means there are guys somewhere on this map that I haven't seen yet. Okay, it's time to start grabbing loot and get the heck out of Dodge, so... Um... Kind of figure that wasn't enough, or too much, I mean. Three pounds, let's get rid of three pounds. There's seven. There you go. That's a winning combo. Grab what loot we can and leave. The fact these other guys haven't shown up yet is kind of concerning to me. As a local business owner and uh, proprietor of explosives, maybe not, but uh... Nope, okay. Um, does Vic have any inventory space left? That's the real question. My character, I think, is pretty full. I'll check real quick. Yeah, to a certain point. I'm going to take everything, just enough. All right. You grab that armor. Um, shoot. Well, they found me. Well, there you are. Predator tank versus Predator butcher. I got this one. Slightly wounded. That's slightly not dead enough for me. Um, crossbows are nice, but they don't do me any good. Uh, that was the one I looked at. Nope, oh, sorry. Trapper, huh? Like a lovely trap to me. Let's just trade out a few things we don't really need. Too much? I get it. Okay. I couldn't remember what his weight limit was. <laughs> Alright, well. I think we need to fall back a little bit. Start prepping for worst case scenario here. So, whoa, that's the wrong direction. I didn't I thought I had a different character selected. That wasn't good. That was, didn't mean that at all. Um not him, the other one. Uh, yes, that and that. That's what I was coming after. Take that and that. We're just grabbing what we can that's not too heavy. We need to vacate towards the exit here. Armor piercing weapon again.
<laughs> Paul's like, hi, Mr. Guy with a shotgun and a shield. Oh, thank you, zombies. I didn't know what was happening. Saved by the zombie. Tonight, on uh, the Hallmark Channel. <laughs> Uh, I guess I really should have everybody protecting Paul because this guy's gonna be on Paul like uh, a bad dream here in a minute. You're just going after Paul only, huh? It's fine. We'll drop you too. Lol. <laughs> I didn't know they said lol. Badly wounded. That's the kind of damage I like to see. That's a lot of damage. Alright. Well, poke. And poke. And artichoke. Wow, you are a resilient fool. He's still going at that zombie. You can get on the screen over there. Oh well. Can't hit him? Okay. Just keep pulling back, Paul. You're, oh, crap, Paul. Behind you. Protect him. Don't turn her behind to him, too. Gutted man's coming up on your six there. Good stuff. Track and chills too. That's pretty good stuff. That's gonna be too heavy though. You can have the not so good stuff. We don't mind that. There we go. Um. Yeah, you can keep the rest of it. These guys just can't stop zombies with chainsaws for nothing, can they? <laughs> See, now that's how you drop a zombie. Not with chainsaws and fancy magic tricks. Just good old fashioned bludgeons. And colas. Clearly, bludgeons and colas. That is the secret right there, bludgeons and colts. And I'll tell you that in school. I'm actually really disappointed I can still hear the chainsaw slagging. Is any out of fuel? Yeah, we're just making a run for it at this point, because uh, we don't have the inventory space to loot everything anyway if we wanted to. That is really far away. We're going to go for the other one. I think it's a lot closer. Paul, what do your elf eyes see? Orcs from the east! Alright. Somebody ran out of gas! <laughs> Paul's like, okay, I'm leaving you losers behind. <laughs> Just taking off. I'm like, wait for me! Gats is like, we're not done killing! Get back here! Oh. Hold on, 
Oh man, I'm almost done! I almost got it cranked! <laughs> I don't this guy just dripping with sweat. It's like, I think I'm out of gas! I don't know what's going on anymore! <laughs> Can I have. Can I just have my turn again? Oh man. Part of me thinks the game crashed. And it just hasn't. You know, it's got a constant cycle. It's a nice little watch icon, so I'm, I'm like, I'm waiting. Oh. I'm going to cut until it either fixes itself or I decide to end the episode, so. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh. Okay, I think it's frozen because um, everything else is fine. I mean, I can move around, look around. I can't interact with anything, and uh, it's been going on for about a minute of him trying to crank that chainsaw. Can I do anything about it? That guy is dedicated to getting that thing recranked. But unfortunately, I think I'm just going to have to end it here. So thank you everybody for stopping by and joining me. I had to do this because I didn't want to have to keep listening to that chainsaw cranking. And I, once again, am so sorry about any audio issues in the last couple episodes of this and other episodes of other shows. I think I fixed it now. I hope I fixed it. Please let me know if the audio quality is still bad, if it needs adjusting in any way, shape, or form. But thank you everybody for stopping by and joining me. If you'd like to hit that like, subscribe for future content. If you feel like it, drop a comment below with your thoughts and or opinions on uh, this and other things. Uh, while you're at it, hit that bell icon if you haven't done so already. And uh, I will see you all in the next episode. Take care. Be safe out there. See ya.